And Ben Jowen said to me, Miss Cow, you can go to the library where I help the kids with their homework, help them with reading. And I wish I had gone there a long time ago. I love the library. It gets me out of the house and it keeps me mobile. Yeah. School, and school. I retired and got bored and I came to the foster grandparent program of the Federal Hill House. It is an amazing program for seniors and for children. We work, we, ha we have a team here at Times Two Academy. Times Two? We, yeah, we're Times two. Yeah. we have a team that, put, that every child in, from K through 12 is taken care of by one of us. Okay, we, I, I was grandmother of the year this year because some parents called up and said how amazing I was with their children. But I work with IEP kids, I work with 504 kids, and they need our help. She lost her mother, her sisters, and a couple of nieces and nephews in a car accident. And she said that her being involved in the program gives her the support and looks her, makes her look forward to something on an, every, on an everyday basis. She really... Eso me da más fortaleza, más ánimo. Y me gusta mi trabajo. A mí me encanta. Okay, yo no, a mí no me gusta estar sentada. Yo tengo que salir de mi casa todos los días. You know, the program helps her get out of the house, have something to look forward to on a daily basis, get to the school, serve the children, and, um, you know, she's the type of person who doesn't like to be in the house, so she likes to get out on a daily basis, look forward to something to do, get dressed, head out the house, because she said staying in the house depresses her, gets her sad, and it also causes death, which is very true. Beautiful, comfortable wonderful thing for anybody to do. Okay. It's the most rewarding thing that I've ever done in my life. One is I help them, uh, those who need the help, I help them with their reading skills, their writing, their uh, their English, their math, whatever it is. Mm -hmm. I do a one-on-one -on -one with about three or four children that are at the bottom. Mm -hmm. wow. Thank you, Anthony. When I'm there at school for four or five hours a day, <coughs> I don't feel an ache of pain, nothing. <laughs> my head is so clear, and my and I'm just very bubbly, and I'm all for the kids. The reason why I did this is because I love children. If you don't like them, you're not good to do this job. And I did it from my heart because the money, <coughs> I don't care. It isn't there. I don't feel as if I have to do it for the money. I did it from my heart, and that's the truth. Well, you work with children. That's a foster grandparent, and you sit beside them, you help them read, write, uh, whatever. You might do some errands too. That's with small children. <clears throat> I've been with small children, and all the time I've been on the program for many, many years. At the end now, at my time, I'm with seventh graders, which is different. You do different work than you do with the little. Ones. My name is Dee, and I'm 80. <laughs> and I was, I'm living in senior housing, and what, that is one of the reasons that I've taken, I, I love working for, for the, with the children. I work at Wanskit Library, I love to read, I read to them, I do help them with their homework because they go to busy <coughs> school, so they come to us right after school. I'm a foster school. grandparent and I'm 62 years old. I became a foster grandparent because I used to I used to work as a nurse's aide, so I got sick, I couldn't work no more. So my friend Harriet down here was telling me about the foster grandparent program, so I got involved in the foster program, and I was taking depressing pills, so ever since I've been working with the foster program, I don't have to take depressing pills no more. I'm not depressed no more, and I love working with kids, and I'm a people, people person, so. I love my foster grandparent program. So we have kids from kindergarten, to sixth grade, mine's fifth grade. And they drive you crazy, but it's great. It gives you something to do, like everyone said. But you learn. It's weird because you learn with the kids. Yeah. Like my teacher does social studies, because our kids move. I learned social studies I didn't know when we went to school. Right. <laughs> it's, you know, it's stuff that we never learned. But it's great for the kids. They enjoy us being there. We're grandma and grandpa yeah. to 300 and 90 kids, 500 all together. And it's, it's cool, because even when we're away from school, if we see them, yeah. they yell at us to us, Grandma, Grandma, Grandpa. <laughs> but it's rewarding. It really is rewarding. It gives, like everyone said, something to do, somewhere to go, and you're helping. And you're not just...
Sí, no, no, no. Sí, Alba. Sí, yo trabajé hasta los 70 años. Oh, she said that she worked for 60 years and, um, you know, she's been gone, gone. Her kids were pushing her for her to retire and she did. When she did, she found herself very bored, very lonely. Um, ever since that she's joined the program, she's been a Highlander where she works with 28 kids in a classroom and she serves them the best of her, you know, skills and knowledge and experiences. Um, tears came to the eyes because she lost her son eight months ago to cancer and he was the, her youngest one. And um, she says that without this program, she would have never had the support and the shoulders that she so much has at the school as well as here with the program, being here um, with all of you guys. And especially, she says, when you guys get together here for the meeting, she really feels, you know, she yeah, feels she, she feels it close families. only because, you know, she has, you know, families to look over to, which is, the children at the school, her own family, and all of us here who give her the school. Okay. Thank you. She lost her son to the battle of cancer in 2009, and she was very depressed, so found herself lost. Um, another member of the Foster Grandparent Program, Mr. Enrique, um, he told her about my program. She didn't know that I ran the program because she knows me as a little girl. So when she came to me, I gave her the opportunity to enroll herself in the program. She's been at Linian Feinstein Sacristy School ever since, where she assists the children in the cafeteria, um, as well as in the classrooms. She helps with um, the sale of their ice creams for their fundraising in school. And she works that one-on-one -on -one with a lot of those children who need it. She feels very comfortable and very happy. She thinks, you know, she feels that she's the special volunteer in the school because she gives all her love to each and individual child. You know, this program has changed her life around. It stopped her from being depressed, get relieve her her stress. Also, she um, wants to thank her um, partners in crime at the school because they all do teamwork to serve those children um, that's so much needed. Her, you know, get involved with the program, stay in the program, and I told her, keep her head up. And like I do with all of you guys, you know what I mean? Because you guys are like, you guys are my kids, and I love you all. So I make sure that you guys are